and three. And Joey is turning down. You know, from that angle, it is tough to really blame yeah. anybody, but I still think that, you know, they, these guys could have cut each other a little bit of slack on that. Yeah, you know, the one angle, when we saw the first angle, when you see this angle, this just looks, it looks bad from this angle. Yeah. And, you know, and I, I jumped on and I said, look, Kevin should have given him some more room. But from the other angle, yeah, I apologize to Kevin Harvick because I think it's two guys racing for position and, yeah. and they're racing for that patch and they just ran out of room. Let's hear from Logano, Ralph. Well, Joey's just come out of his hauler after talking to J.D. Gibbs and Coach Gibbs. Joey, what's your thoughts on what took place out there with Kevin Harvick? Uh, it's disappointing, to be honest with you. It's, uh, yeah, we had a top five run going with the Home Depot Toyota, and that's, uh, for us here, that was going to be awesome, and I was pretty pumped up about it. And uh, racing 29, and um, he let me go in the middle of the straightaway and uh, decided to dump me in the next turn. I don't know what his deal is with me, but uh, it's probably not his fault. You know, his, his wife wears a fire suit in the family and tells him what to do, so it's probably not his fault. What's it going to take to cool this feud down between the two of you? Um, I don't know. I'm going to go to NASCAR Holler, and uh, I guess they're going to tell me what I'm supposed to do. So uh, we'll just have to see. What did Coach Gibbs and JD say to you? Uh, just tell me to calm down. You know, when we finished 13th, you know, I mean, uh, we didn't, we, we rallied back from 30th in two laps. So uh, that was, I mean, at least we got something out of it. You know, it's not a top five like we, we should have finished, but, um, you know, it is what it is. It's just ridiculous that, uh, I don't know what I've ever done to, to piss him off, but he's uh, apparently stupid. Joey, you unloaded a lot of emotion when you came out of the car there. What are you thinking about that? Did you show too much, or are you okay with that? No, he needs to know how I feel. No one lets me go up and talk to the guy. You know, I mean, I, you get out of the car, you want to talk to the guy, see what's going on, and there's 6,000 crew members around you that you can't go up and talk to him. So, I mean, I, I don't know how he's to settle something if you can't even talk to the guy, which there's no talking to him anyway. Joey, thanks for talking to us. Here's what Kevin Harvick had to say. Nothing like the raw motion. Kevin Harvick, you end up with a fourth place finish, but f tell us about the contact with the 20. Yeah, I just I got in there and, and we just wound up uh, getting together. Uh, just two cars going in the same space at one time. We just got to thank everybody. On my Shell Pins Oil Chevy, they did a great job today. We had a solid car. Uh, kind of got stuck back there in, in the middle of the pack uh, with the pit strategy, but all in all, our car was good all day. How about the pretty good points day for you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, the car was, was good and, and uh, that's the way we have to be. All the tracks that uh, you know we seem to struggle at in the past have been really good for us, and and uh, to go to these racetracks and run in the top five every week is what we're looking for. This has not been historically your best racetrack. No, it hadn't been, but uh, today it was really good. Right. Good job, man. Thank you.